before I kind of step into uh, a piece about womanhood, but I wanted to talk about gentrification and how in a lot of areas we are being pushed out as black people, as communities of color, we are being pushed out and I wanted to speak to that. So um, it's funny how the streets start looking different when you creep up on your old block. They put up all these new stores that F your mom and pop shops. My folks, they still reside, and so I still rep where I come from, but the only thing familiar is the road is made of asphalt and the sky is still blue. And money still runs all the big talks, and all my brothers still are passing at all the old spots. Just now that I gotta pay a little fee so they be outside. Couldn't afford it then, and now it's triple rent, it's too high. The old pole with the broke bowl, what we used to roast and freestyle. They went and put up new aesthetics, they wasn't feeling the broke aesthetics. Oh, you try. This ground is mine, I paid the price, the blood is dry, cool down, you're getting too loud, go some more, down now, you want me more, finding a simple, don't go too far, don't cross the line, don't make this art, what more you want, cool down, you're getting too loud, come some, some more, down now, you want me more, finding a simple. So at this time, we're going to spend 5.5 minutes five and a half minutes, kneeling down, find somewhere shaded, in total silence. If somebody can help us if your kids are back there screaming, and they may be mine, um, please help us keep this quiet and a moment of silence. This time we chose 5.5 because August 6th was the 55th anniversary for the Voters' Rights Act, which actually finally allowed black women to vote. 50 years after women, white women are allowed to vote. So we're still fighting for voting rights today. And we want to make sure we all have those conversations with our kids about what it means that black women weren't even allowed to vote when women were allowed to vote. 50, we're talking about 50 years. We're talking about so many issues of police violence in Davis that are affecting families like mine, all kinds of families that you would take for granted if you haven't had those things happen to you if you've never been stopped by the police and asked if you have drugs and anything else in your minivan, like I have, then you can really take that for granted. But those freedoms need to be extended to the whole community. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being part of the solution. We're going to start 5.5 minutes of silence in honor of all the black victims that were victims of police brutality, the women. This is for our mothers, for our daughters, for our sisters. Okay, starting now. Go and vote, go and sign the YOLO Power petition, go and take some t-shirts and be creative about how you distribute them. And thank you all for coming. Please, please keep us in the loop. Wild Events Davis, we're going to try and engage our community more and more in different ways. And thank you for practicing safety. Thank you for wearing masks and thank you all. As I'm mad that I'm <laughs>